All right. Hopefully in this episode I can try to complete this uh, sort of arch section, hopefully. So we'll see how that goes. Uh, sleepy time. That's right. Dang it. <laughs> Hurry up, son. Uh, I guess I can go ahead and make a couple shovels, probably. Cause mine broke. I do remember. All right, there we go. Let me see what the map looks like, if that's the right one. Uh, yep, that's the right one. Yeah, I'd probably like to fill these out at some point, and just kind of wander around until they're all full, just to see if there's uh, anything else that I'm that I haven't found yet that would be interesting. Um, I always mention how nice it would be to find a skeleton spawner, but uh, that's not really going to be something I can see from the surface, obviously, but it's just a wish of mine. Uh, let's see. Yeah, let me go ahead and eat some bread. Mm, dang, that's one thing that I'm actually going to need to take care of. I'm going to have to go get some wheat probably from my farm, make some more bread, since I have no moss. Okay, so based off of these, I'm going to go ahead and put a cobblestone block right there, just to match the height of that, and put torches on both sides. Uh, can't really see the other side. <laughs> uh, there we go. Dink. All right, and uh, we'll continue that for all of these, I guess. <laughs> we. Okay, well, the rest of these shouldn't be too bad because it's only going to be one block uh, at this height here, so it shouldn't actually be bad at all. So I've got a couple columns of dirt here cluttering things up. I still haven't really figured out the very best way of dealing with scaffolding because it seems like I don't know, like most things in this game, uh, I haven't quite figured out the perfect way of doing things, it seems like, um, but I don't know. Maybe there is no better way, but um, I know creative mode obviously is a easy way of <laughs> dealing with that problem because you can just fly around, but I'm doing things legit. All right, so what I think I'm gonna do for this other side here, the arch going back down is, uh, I was sort of mentioning before about uh, putting the dirt columns, sort of the scaffolding in the middle, just cause I don't, that way I wouldn't have to build two sides. Uh, and I think I'm actually gonna make it basically a mold. Uh, so I'll make the dirt blocks go in the middle uh, and, and make it the exact shape that I want these uh, co uh, cobblestone blocks to be and then I can just build directly off of it on either side and that should be a little bit, uh, or it should be a lot quicker actually building that way, so that is what I will do finally get a pretty decent view of things looks pretty nice especially once I get the rest of the road bed thing up there going uh, to sort of cap off those little top blocks that should look a little bit better than two so. All right, I'm gonna head back over here and build up another dirt column. All right, so I sort of got a, my little tower going here and then uh, my sort of mold going right here. So I'm just gonna build this out in the same exact shape as, uh, as the way that I want the cobblestone to end up being and then I can just stick it onto both sides. So back to it. Okay, so uh, I've sort of built some of the mold. Hmm. Still hearing skeletons. Might have to investigate that in case that could be a mob spawner. That would be nice. But uh, yeah, I'm I'm starting to build this little column or these two columns right here, uh, just because I know that's the distance they need to be to meet up with this uh, this uh, curve at the right spot. So I'm just gonna build these up and finish off my mold 
as I'm doing that and then uh, go ahead and stick some cobblestone on there. And this did uh, actually not turn out to be the right distance away so that's uh, a bit of a miscalculation. I guess there is a cave down here. We'll have to investigate. Let me stick like a clump of torches in a area or something. Maybe that'll remind me to go here. This looks kind of creepy, actually. <laughs> okay, but uh, yeah, I'm actually going to have to move these columns over one. Oopsie. Ah. Alright, I guess um, as I'm building up here, I can go ahead and start putting the cobblestone on. So, may as well. And can I see, I can't really spot where the cross beams are going to need to be, unfortunately, from here. But that's okay. I guess I can go ahead and knock this out while I'm here, too. doing that because then I've got to build another tower that's very frustrating dang it okay just got all the uh, got the mold knocked out so now I'm just gonna get back to doing these uh, vertical supports I guess and finishing off the wooden supports as well so I guess that will be back to the three block gap and that would be right here. And I'll do one there too just because that's where the torches are going to go. Okay, uh, I just got this sort of whole, uh, these two vertical beams completed with all the little cross sections in between. I should have all the cross sections on the bridge itself as well. Uh, so I think I'm right now just going to finish off the sort of road bed here <clears throat> just to give it a bit more of a completed look and then probably get rid of any extra little dirt that's hanging around too. All right, looking pretty good, I think. Um, got my road bed completed, so I guess I'm just going to look out for any, yeah, I'm going to just get rid of the rest of this dirt here. And um, try to hop down right here if I can. Wee! And uh, yeah, once I get rid of this dirt, I'll sort of give it a look from a distance and see how it looks. Alright, let's give this thing a look. If we can. <laughs> yeah, I have to go over here. This is where I cleared the trees out. Except for this one. Look at that. Pretty cool. I like it. I guess the question now is what to do for the rest of the way. Because <laughs> uh, that took a while. <laughs> so I'm just trying to think what I should do for the rest of this uh, mine track. I think I should at least do one more of these sections though. Just because that does look really cool. I guess the one problem with it is I won't be able to enjoy it while actually riding on the mine track just because it's below. So that's a bit of a bummer, but that's okay. Oh gosh, I'm uh, about to be very, very hungry. So I think I'm <clears throat> actually going to go ahead and run. Oh, I guess you can't sprint when you're that hungry. Uh, but yeah, I'm just going to run back to the base. Or jog back to the base, I guess. Alright, let's see if I've got any food in here. Um, not looking like it. Uh, got some rotten flesh. And I've heard you can eat that. It just get, it makes you 
gives you food poisoning or something like that. I can't remember what it actually does. I, I think it does make you sick, but I heard that the sickness is like not all that big of a deal or something like that. So uh, I'm just going to go in here and collect all this stuff, I suppose, and make some more bread. Oh, it's bread time. Nice. Alright, I guess, uh... Well, let me go ahead and, and uh, replenish this farm here. Um, let's see. I've got 51 seeds. I figure that should be enough for this entire thing. So let me actually go make a stone hoe first to finish off uh, this little row right here. All right, there we go. Got a full farm. That'll be nice. So, I'm thinking in my next episode, I might uh, head back to the secondary base at the end of the mine track. Actually, may have to, well, I will have to get the mine track sorted out um, just because there's some missing blocks and things like that Once I, when I poured the water on it to build. Um, but yeah, get that fixed up and then head to my secondary base and just kind of figure out what to do with it. Uh, cause I remember I had some ideas, but I didn't really have the chance to pursue them yet. So I guess that will be the plan for now, which I'm sure is uh, subject to many changes. So, but until then, thanks for watching guys. And, uh, I will see you in the next one.